Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Rafi Chowdhury here with RafiChowdhury.com and Influencer Spotlight as well. And Rafi Chowdhury and Influencer Spotlight, Spotlight are the, is a place to go for all things PR and personal branding. And today's topic is going to be about this amazing platform called Muckrack and how you guys can use Muckrack. I hope, I hope I'm pronouncing it correctly. How, how you guys can use Muckrack to get uh, press coverage for your brand absolutely for free. So I like to call Muckrack the PR tool review uh, for pretty much any kind of client-based project. So let's get, start. let's get started. So what is Muckrack? Well, most of you guys subscribe to media coverage to find the latest uh, trending news. Muckrack is a tool just like those to find the coverage wherever you want, however way you want. It also helps you find media coverage when all other tools fail. Further, it can help you find and track news through brand name tweets or keywords. So think of Muckrack kind of like a just a, a platform that kind of takes all this coverage and all these publications that like whatever they're saying, it kind of condenses it all into one platform. So if you're looking for news on any particular topic by any particular author, by any particular publication, you can search for anything that's in the news in this one platform, which is pretty cool, right? Because think about it, when you're trying to Google that, there's no like sort of like, you know, centralized place where you can get PR from every little, you know, all the recognized PR spaces out there. There is this thing called Google News, but Google News is not going to let you track by like specific things like, you know, a particular author. That's exactly what Muckrack allows you to do. It allows you to filter and find news based on any topic, any author, any industry, any niche, any time. It has all these amazing filters. So is your PR collaborative? Personally, I use this tool to build relationships with the media, and I don't like to use all sorts of other outdated tools that there are because Muckrack solves most of my problems and gives me access to this huge network of influencers, this network of columnists and contributors that it's hard to find on any other platform. And it allows me to get connected, share my story, and also get my latest PR newsfeed. So I know exactly what's going on in my industry and similar industries that I'm interested in. Not only this, but I'm also able to bring build a strong, strong portfolio, pitch myself to the right audience at the right time. And the most important thing about this tool is that it's trusted by big name publications like Fortune 500 companies, entrepreneurs, PR agencies such as myself, journalists, etc. So there's some big name people that are on this website. So why should you use Muckrack? Well, connect with people that you wouldn't meet otherwise. That's the cool thing is that there's just, again, everybody that's on Muckrack is probably a journalist or pig you know of or some sort of entrepreneur or someone who's really in the pr space and if you're in the pr space chances are either you're doing something amazing or you are a contributor for an amazing publication or something of that nature so you know it's got a targeted group of people on there that that you can really network with that are just not going to be your ordinary everyday people and marketers especially you know people that are in marketing need to be on top of their excuse me need to be on top of their game they can't do much if the current following is not up to rank your competitors are in the news and you have no idea how that can be useful for your target market. So it gives you access to, to basically do competitor research in essence. Like, you know, you, you can, you can go and figure out like, Hey, you know, um, John Smith who runs company XYZ, who's a competitor to me, let's see what he's been up to. You know, you can see all the latest, uh, all of your competitors and what, what people are saying about them in, in the press. And that'll give you some valuable insight as to what's going on in the industry as well. So um, again, the other benefit obviously is that you've, you have no clue how you, how to save time and reporting and media monitoring, but Muckrack can really make it easy for extracting detailed infographics on your required data or keywords. So I know you guys are probably familiar with things like um, Google alert, that'll kind of alert you if some certain keywords are, you know, appearing in the news or in Google somewhere. Uh, but just think of Muckrack almost like Google alert, except for it's for PR specifically. And it can do a lot more. It can do a lot more customization and tracking uh, than you can with Google Alerts. So, diversify your pitching game and platform. 
most of us are stuck with the same platform to pitch our services or products. And this doesn't allow us to move beyond the usual stuff and elaborate what we can do. Most of the time, the story, product, or service gets rejected because of the pool of politics with big brands or competitors. So a unique way to showcase your abilities is available now and can help you generate targeted results as well as PR for your company. Just think about it from a buyer's perspective as you can easily change your strategy and diversify your reach to audiences you thought you never had. Like I said before, you need to use the you know the platform sort of like a, just a connecting tool. Just think of it like a Facebook group that's filled with journalists, filled with awesome companies, entrepreneurs, you know, where you can really search and really filter down to the exact type of news in the industry that you're looking to um, search for. And this can be beneficial, not just for competitor research, but it can also give you some, you know, a, a, an avenue to come up with amazing ideas as well. So just thinking about what your competitors are doing, what other people in the industry are doing, you know, it's just a, it's, it's just a really cool idea. I think, I think it's just, a, it can provide information that could be valuable to you in, in some way, shape or form. And it could introduce you to stuff that you've never even heard of before that's happening in your industry. So here's a tweet that I took. Someone wrote, someone, sometimes I, I come across Muckrack and I think, why isn't this my homepage? A simple roll of stories with tweets. It's pretty interesting, right? It's kind of like Twitter in some ways even. So why do you need to focus on your press coverage? If you haven't figured that out yet, well, that's the first thing you need to figure out. Why do you even need press? So if you're a startup or a billion dollar company, you, you, you know the latest insights in the market. Things keep changing and so does the needs and wants of your customers. It's simple as using a 1990s Nokia smartphone in 2018. Well, yes, the 1990s Nokia phone still works and it did work at the time, but guess what? You can still use it today, but it's not going to get you the stuff that you need. It's the same thing with PR is that if you're, if you're kind of, you know, holding on to the old school thought ways of thought, old school ways of doing things, well, guess what? The market is evolving. New things are happening and you need to stay up to date. And that's the perfect time to tap into the news and the PR space because PR by definition, these publications cover things that are noteworthy, things that are trendy, things that are current, you know? So, and that's exactly what Muckrack basically, you know, brings you is that you're able to filter down and really see some of these more trendier things that are going on. And press coverage also allows you to grasp the current um, set outside of the market. So let's talk a little bit about the sales aspect. Those of you guys who are going to be using Muckrack to get leads, okay? It's an amazing lead generation tool because think about it. If companies are going on Muckrack and they're putting their profiles up there, they're reaching out to journalists, well, guess what? If you're a PR company or you do something with PR, you're a writer, a copywriter, anything like that, there you go. This is a platform where you can pick up new clients as well. And finding new gigs daily is not a possible task for your sales team. A lot of times it can be really hard. Cold pitching is really tricky. But imagine if you're pitching to people that are all hyper-targeted, that are on that platform specifically to get press coverage. So if you have a service or a product that can help these people, either journalists or the people that are looking for the press, there you go. Perfect avenue to connect with those people. Sometimes the list and details get clogged with older stuff and news. But the moment you get a refined, filtered platform, you can easily jump on the bandwagon of new trending news and save yourself from any possible crisis. Understanding the flow of the market and niche-related stuff gives you an extra help. You'll also be able to identify new gigs along with the usual things that can impact your deal. All right, here's another tweet that I found. And this one says, love when muckrack alerts beats Google alerts by hours. And it's like having a super secret speedy spy doing clips. So Google alerts is pretty good. I'm a huge fan of Google alerts. I like using it, but this thing is even faster. Like muckrack will give you updates faster than Google alerts will. And it's more updated, you know, and it gives you, like I said, it gives you all these filtering abilities that Google alerts simply doesn't have. And you can really niche down to to like specifically the type type of stuff that you're like the you know type of you news that you're looking for. So once you start being on top of your game, nothing can be the strategy. Your customers look for news feeds around the clock, and if you're able to focus on new trends, you can automatically grow your brand's image as well as your name. You'll know the ins and outs and improve your services and products instantly because you know what's going on in your industry, and you get that alert faster than Google gives it to you. Just imagine that. 
So you can uh, so you can determine your impact with real time data. So one of the features that Muckrack has is that um, so it let me just uh, read the slide first. So way to get a report from your SEO team or data analyzer to figure out our uh, monthly and daily searches. Do that instantly by using who shared my link tool. You'd be surprised at the results and can show your team, clients, possible clients, how you're uh, able to strongly impact your community and niche. So those of you guys who are in SEO obviously know exactly what this is. You know that getting share, shares and updates and, and you know social shares or share even like people that link to your blog post, those things are really important to know. You want to know that like who is sharing your stuff. So this is an amazing tool that will kind of share you all the places around the web where somebody has taken your blog post or your link and shared it. That gives you valuable data to know, hey, what's working, what's not working? Is Facebook working for us? Is Twitter working for us? Is Instagram really the, where we should be sharing our content more? Gives you valuable insiders and data that you wouldn't be able to get otherwise. Even Google Analytics sometimes doesn't. In fact, I don't think Google Analytics shows you this data, like who shares your link. So this gives you an, a, a you know type of uh, insight that you really just can't get from Google, honestly. <laughs> So here are three rules of stress for building your press coverage. Number one, follow our quali quality. Number two, talent response rate. Number three, quality of applicant. So my golden tip for all is to always and always ensure to build high quality press with what you do. Your products and services can be similar to competitors, and you can only beat them in quality and value-based features. Features Press coverage will automatically follow suit with this implementation. Press absolutely by all means depends on the fact that your product or your service is absolutely the best if your product or service is not good press is not going to help you because angry and disgruntled customers is never going to be the solution like press is not going to be able to hide that so if you have stuff that's just not working your operations suck or your quality the product sucks or something in your services suck well guess what press is not going to help you much so you want to make sure that you're product or service is absolutely tier one and only then press will go hand in hand with you what's your what you're trying to achieve so winston winston churchill has a famous quote however beautiful the strategy you should occasionally look at the results and this is so true in marketing we get so caught up with amazing designs you can you get we get so caught up with awesome um designs and, and how cool our funnel looks or how amazing you know this marketing strategy is how beautiful it is how clever it is well guess what the results the proof is in the pudding if the results aren't there then no excuses just results it's the only thing matters so every strategy or tool looks beautiful initially but once you start using it you'll notice the drawbacks or outcome to determine press coverage you too have to know what can strongly impact your reputation and lead to better prospects. If the price is low, doesn't mean the outcome will be great. So just keep that in mind. You want to have an amazing product, and Muckrack is obviously one of those amazing products, but your product itself also has to be outstanding in order for you to really be able to leverage uh, Muckrack. Your product and services require the most creative strategies. So without creativity, you're not a marketer. All marketers, by definition, have to be creative. You may not feel the need for press coverage if you're a startup brand, but your brand does need the media applause. Your marketing strategies may fail, but consistency with diversity will change your customer's view about your brand. Making the right move at the right time to the right audience is all you need. And press coverage does that for you instantly. Thousands and thousands of brands open and close daily. Only the ones meeting the height of press coverage stand out. Being the news for a good cause is a good thing. It's a healthy thing. It's like eating a whole bunch of carrots. If you're not in the press, again, there's no way to validate what you do because companies that are good at what they do always end up in press. So if you're not really taking your PR game seriously and you're not really putting any dollars behind it, you're not doing anything creative to get yourself out there, it's going to be really hard for you to really build that true long-term credibility. How many big name companies that you know that are successful have no press coverage. It's rare. It's rare. So if you, again, if you're not up there with those people, you're missing out. When you go to pitch and your competitor also goes behind you to pitch, your competitor is all over the news, but you're nowhere to be found. I mean, it's like apples to apples. I mean, your competitor is better. <laughs> you know, the only thing that can make you stand out is your, maybe your product or service, but 
you won't get the chance to show them that if they're not convinced that you're legit. And one of the ways to do that is through PR. All right, so stay updated with your business profile. Your online profile is something a potential client or consumer will look for. If what you're trending, if what you're trending now is not on your profile, uh, it will not. It will give the impression that you're either scamming or this is something bogus news. Always ensure to draft your profile with current news and achievements, and to ensure uh, and be sure to check your profile once a week to chart and add new updates. And this is so 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 crucial to those people that are in the services based industry. Like before people hire you, and you know your clients hire you, like they want to see who are you, what kind of achievements you've gotten, like. You need to make your profile absolutely 100% targeted to the thing that you do. Okay, so if you look at my profiles all over the place, I have banners saying, "Hey, I run a PR company, and this is exactly what I can do for you." So if you're not doing, if you're not, if your profile and your personal brand isn't up to par, it's going to be really hard for you to convince anybody to do business with you. And that's exactly why I built an entire concept of you know business around personal branding. And if you haven't done personal branding for yourself and you don't know what I do and my personal branding package you need to hit me up after this why you finish this uh, uh this video you know, shoot me a message and say hey rafi i remember your personal branding package you mentioned in your video what is it can i learn more about it it will make you you'll turn you'll you will become famous almost instantly and i will help you update your profile in google and in other places instantly overnight just shoot me a message and i'll tell you more about it but long story short your profile needs to be absolutely amazing and you need to make sure that you you do a really good job with making your profile relevant to the job or whatever company that you run. So think things like, for example, if you have a Facebook group, put the link to your Facebook group where it says about on your website, you know, or your, for where you would put your website. In your banners, put a banner of your actual company and some things about it and some maybe some um, a link to the you know or yeah, write your link to the to the website. I gotta turn the Skype down. <clears throat> doesn't matter like what you do you're someone should be able to come to your social profile and instantly know exactly what you do so if you have a funnel built up put the link to your funnel right there on your profile bio okay this is like this is another one too is that people tend to forget like this supposed to people like because we work over the internet we tend to forget like we're talking to actual people i've seen so many marketers so many very successful even very like talented people they're so shy to get in front of a camera. They're so shy to make a video. They don't want to talk to anybody. They don't want to get on the phone. They may still run successful businesses because they're tech skills, but you're missing out so much on the table because you're not willing to get in front of people. And that's something that I try to teach. And and me, like I get on like 20 phone calls every single day. You know, whether these people work with do business with me or not, I make sure that I have I to have 20 conversations conversations every single day and I put out a new video or a blog post or something almost every single day and that's because I understand the value of connecting with people I understand that ultimately I'm connecting with a person behind that computer behind that email address behind that persona behind that profile right so always remember to pitch to people and not to publications when you write want to pitch to a publication your story or you want to write for that publication Keep in mind that a human being is going to be reading it. They have emotions just like you do. They have certain things that they were trying to achieve as well. Just keep all that in mind. Keep in mind that they get tons and tons of emails. So make your email brief. Just make it as easy for them as possible when you make your pitch. All these pubs have their hands full. Most probably will discard your story. So what will be your next move? That's why I always encourage my clients to pitch to people as people will have more interest in what you've got to say than a publication ever will. Publications by themselves don't mean anything. you got to reach out to a person. This is, again, another no-brainer, but, man, I see this all the time. They pitch the most boring stories, the most lamest written stories. Think about it. Your story, I have, by the way, I have a good video on this. You need to watch how to make your story, how to tell a story that sells. It's on YouTube. It's on my Facebook page. Check it out. But long story short here as well is that your story needs to be from a creative angle that makes people want to actually read it because it has some amazing stuff. Don't go in there and write an article about, oh, my company is blah and we do blah and we serve people that are blah. 
and we do blah 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 and if you want to work with you know the reason that you should work with us are blah 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 the reason that we're better than our competitors is blah 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 and the reason that you should be keeping reading this blah 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 nobody cares people want to learn your story they want to they want to know what makes you cool what's unique about you so think of the most unique angles that you can take point in and hone in on a particular part of your business or your story that that's newsworthy that's actually different from everything else that you heard recently okay and if it's not think of a way to make it different think of a way to tell it differently and that's when you have a really really juicy content that's when you really have have a story that's going to actually sell that's going to get a lot of clicks that's going to get a lot of shares it's going to get people to actually talk to you that's really what you want you publish you publish your first story and then what you've forgotten after some time there are hundreds of stories that are coming out right It'll be great if you can enhance your content or refurbish it with more details. Keeping your content lively is the trick. Recycle previous stories and create something new to stay in the media. And I do a ton of recycling. If you go through my content, you'll see the ton of the stuff is just updates from older content. Or I've taken a blog post, turned it into a video like this. Or I've taken a video like this and turned it into a blog post. So I make sure that I'm constantly recycling content and updating it as times and strategies change. That's something you can adopt as well. You don't always have to come up with absolute new things. But you do need to always come up with content that's relevant, that's fresh, that your audience enjoys reading. And you need to make it really, really juicy and good. So pitch through calls when you can, email when you must. You get 20% more results when you call and pitch your story. But of course, a first time call needs some relation building, relationship building as well. So start emailing to personalize your brand, services, or product. You can use Muckrack here to get a more specific media and journal journalism database. So again, like I said before, people hate to have conversations. Like I don't know why, but marketers tend to have this per, like idea in their head that they want to do everything from a computer by themselves, sitting in a room by themselves. That's just not good business. Like business is all about connecting and networking and talking to people, right? You want to build those relationships, and you're not going to build relationships by chatting with people on Facebook. So get off those kind of servers, start, pick up the phone and start calling people. Get on a video Skype chat, like video them, let them see your face, see their face and make a human connection. If you don't do that, you become just like every other rotten market out there that's just hitting up with cold emails and you just never know who's buying that email. Like there's no personalization. I just think it's a very poor strategy. It's so much better to just personalize the connections and um, try to get on the phone with people and try to get them on a Skype call with you and just kind of really connect with them more than just an email, you know? And it's just a good idea. And as far as the specific database, obviously Muckrack has a huge, huge database of, of you know, uh, contributors and journalists and editors of different big name publications, but so do I. If you haven't joined my Facebook group yet, you need to. It's called Columnists of Major Publications. I've basically you know reached out to columnists and editors all around the web of some of the biggest publications there is and if you need the link to that shoot me a message and i'll give you a link to join my group as well on top of that if you're a client of mine obviously if you buy the personal branding package you get access to every, each and every single media contact that i've ever made over the years including sites like techcrunch forbes wired mashable and these kind of places and i will just give you that for free but most important the important Point here is that you need connections with journalists and people in the media. So PR is obviously about strong relationships. A customer-focused, ever-evolving, user-friendly platform allows you to focus on new things and build strong relationships. Whereas if you're not connected with what is trending, you may get some backfooting on your business, customers, and also your brand. So my suggestion is to start using Muckrack to diversify your goals and customer reach today. You can comment below together and we can discuss promising possibilities. So again, I, I stress communication and relationship building in every video that I've ever made because it is the most important thing and one of the most ignored parts of online business, I think, is that people tend to want to do everything behind some sort of computer screen. They're scared to turn on that video camera. I don't understand why, but if you think about it, really good business relationships come from really good relationships that you build with people right without a good strong relationship there is no business so try to personalize each and every relationship and it's far better for you to make a personal connection with a customer and a client because why they're going to be much more likely to buy from you for the first time but more importantly 
They're going to want to buy from you again and again and again because you've built that strong relationship and you've maintained that relationship. So I try my best to personally connect with each and every one of my clients. If you are one of my clients and you're watching this, you know that I personally email you guys out and I say, hey, I just wanted to see what's going on with you. Do you mind if we get a hop on a call this week sometime? Do that. You know, do that. Forget all this online automated crap that people are doing. Yes, you can automate things, but make it personal. Get on the phone with these people. Talk to them. Understand their pain points. Understand why they're buying your product. What is it that's, that they're wanting to solve with this thing? And if you can really understand that and connect with them, even if it's time consuming, I promise you in the long run, you're going to have so many happy customers. They're going to do your marketing for you. You can just fire your marketing team because they're going to be happy customers, the best marketing that there can ever be. So go out there and start building relationships and really start to care about the people that buy from you because they're giving you money to get your care. They want you to care for why they're buying from you. Start paying attention to the people that reach out to you and, about, and buy something from you. And it will make a difference in the long run. That's all I have for you guys today. Thank you again if you tuned in and watched this video. I really appreciate you guys obviously you know, following me on this journey and, 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 you know, we're going to, we're going to hack this PR thing. We're going to, we're going to figure out exactly how to do things right, how to get results and how to really get our names out there. So if you're, you know, I encourage you guys obviously to share this, these kind of videos that I make. And, you know, my goal with all this is just simple. One thing is that I want people to understand relationship building. I want people to understand like what it means to get PR. I want people to be writing for these big name publications like I do. And I want people to start building their personal brand. So when people Google you, I want people to know like, hey, who is this person? Who is John Smith? What does he do? I want people's stories out there because the better you can connect, you know, the, the world, the, the business sphere, the more we can achieve. It's just simple as that. So thanks again for joining. Share this video. And if you need the slides to this, shoot me a message. I need your email address and I will send this over to you for, uh, for your records. Thanks, guys, again. Till next one.